Hi friends, it's Sam, Paper Vessels, how are you? So I made a journal, a little bit of a different, um, I guess concept, pretty much different concept altogether than what I've ever made before. So it was really fun to make. Um, I made it as a gift for someone we're actually exchanging. Um, I made it for Anna from Anna's Wonderland. She's also memory decks, memory decks obsessed. And I'll make sure um, to put all the links to all of her social media, Instagram, and all of that so that you guys can check her out. She's got a great channel, lots of fun on her channels, and lots of good information and good videos. So make sure you check her out. So I'm excited to see um, what I get from her because I have seen the journals that she makes, and they are fantastic. So I'm really excited to see what I've got in store with her. So I'm obviously, this is a journal. I'm sending a little bit... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sending some extras. Not much. I'm trying to be more conscientious about not, I don't know, not overdoing it too much, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to offend anybody by sending too much. <laughs> Is that a thing? So I have a little box um, of all kinds of little goodies and cutouts and extras that I've put in here. Um, I've put some eyelets in here. I actually put in a little... Um, flower that I crocheted like oh my gosh a long time ago actually long 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 time ago so just little extras in here you know odds and ends um one thing I am excited about is this tag I'm really really happy with the way it came out I'm very very happy with the way it came out so I made a little nest can you see that I need better lighting any suggestions <laughs> I need better. Anywho, um, that's the tag. It's like nice and layered. You already know how I like to layer things and just go to town. And just that background is great. Um, got some nice little hemp cord, hemp thread, whatever it's called, that I got from a recent haul from our little mom and pop scrapbooking store that's closing. Boo. I got my little name on the back so she know, oh, we'll, use, we'll always know that it was from Sam. Sam made it. That's who did this. So I'm really excited about this tag. I really, really like the way it came out. I kind of want to keep, <laughs> truth be told. So here's our journal. This is a book that I got um, from, I think it was Jamie. I'm pretty sure it was Jamie. Um, I got this from her, I don't know, maybe sometime last year in one of her little grab bags she would do boxes and I wish I'd done it every time she did one because the stuff from that box was amazing and this was included in there it was totally put together it was a good book it was beautiful art um, and I'll make sure to link her page as well it's Russie Jane and Russie Jane Mercantile I'll make sure that I link all those so you can check her out um I did a different closure on this, which I thought was kind of fun. I did do a craft with me or a tutorial process video, whatever you want to call it, on this. So hopefully we'll be able to upload that soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, don't know, I should have grabbed some water. So this is our Peter Rabbit. I did a different binding on this little guy, more of like the traditional scrapbooks from you know that you can get back is the same beautiful artwork love the colors in this the uh, material that I did on the sides is from a vintage napkin I think this was memory keepers um, trim that I found maybe at Tuesday morning lots of little bits and bobs kind of sticking out and we'll kind of go over that I made a I guess a bookmarker or a bookmark because I you know I couldn't hang anything off the side because it's basically open I did put a doily through just to kind of hide the busyness of it but I really like the way that came out by the way so in order to like dangle anything off of the side of it I figured you know doing one of these would be a good idea I actually saw this recently in shabby dabby doo but Shabby Dabby Duda on her YouTube page. <laughs> I cannot say that name. So there's little dangly um, wrapped beads on each end that I've done. 
So really cutesy. Um, lots of, lots of things, lots of things going on in here. So you see this binding. I did like a quick little process video, I think, or something on my stories for Instagram. So basically they're the, the screws, just the traditional little screws. And then this is kind of folded over. Um, and I just basically took an um, older scrapbook that I have that has this type of binding and just kind of, you know, copied it basically. Um, all of this I sewed myself, strips of paper, glue, a vintage napkin that is part of the front and the back um, binding and cover. Um, some nice little gingham, red gingham ribbon, nice vintage doily. Love this. The artwork in this book is so adorable. So fantastic. Let me move this out of the way. Everything is really pretty. So what I did is I kept all the pages from the original book in here. And again, this is kind of different than what I have normally done. Normally I create a book from scratch. Um, don't necessarily use, you know, books and just kind of revamp them, but this time I did. And really playing with this binding is, it's different. So I want to get some feedback from her on how it is to use this journal and write in it and, you know, journal and, and put her, you know, pictures and photos or whatever she's going to do with it. I'm going to get some feedback from her and see how she liked it. So basically all she has to do is just like with any other scrapbook, you just take these screws out and you add more pages. Um, so curious to see how she likes that. So Peter Rabbit looked at this artwork, people, and the pages were so nice and just, they were nice and clean. The pictures are vivid. I did some of the principles, um, from who I can't remember. God, of course I can't remember. I should write, I should write this stuff down before I do these things. But anywho, I'll make sure. And it's Maggie. No, it's not. I can't remember. Anyway, <laughs> these are just pages from a magazine. I did some collaging here with some vintage buttons. I have some cutouts from some scrapbook paper. These are also cutouts from scrap scrapbook paper. I went nuts making tags. I made a few tags in this one. I just had a lot of fun with little bits and pieces and leftovers and a little bunny. He's so cute with the little fence. My mom actually gave this uh, Martha Stewart punch to me and I knew she wasn't gonna do, gonna use it. So I'm glad that she let me use it cause I've used it in a couple places and I'll show you that. This is an off cut from a die, um, a little sticker, a little piece of that napkin that I used as part of the binding for the book. Nice little, butterfly kind of pops up and little blingy and you know just little pieces of, of thread and this is actually leftover from the napkin because you know how when you have a nice little fancy fabric wrap um napkin it has that nice little sewn edge so I cut the edges off because it just wasn't working for what I was trying to do with the napkin and I just kept it and I thought you know what why am I keeping that and I thought, you know I'll use it with something and I did and I've used it in a couple places and I will show you that as we keep going in the book and Sam will be quiet a little, move a little faster, girl, move faster. <laughs> so these papers are really cute. Who the heck did I get that from? Dang it. Nice little trim here. Um, more magazine cutouts. I thought that was really cute. Printable from a uh, little Bindi. Looks like a little napkin or a doily. This is just little crepe paper. I did some of the punching on die that I just got from Ashley, who's more crafts on Instagram. I got some really, uh, it was a D stash, good stuff. I wish I had done a, you know, a haul video, but anywho, nice little vintage um, invoice, more paper from the same collection that I can't remember who I got it from. That's so bad. Um, this is a nice little wax seal that I got from some type of mail that I got from someone and I just like repurposed it. Nice little paper. I love this vivid color. I did a little bit of punches on there, a little bit of wax, um, gold wax on there to give it a little bit of depth. Also did a little collaging here, leftover pits, pieces of, of fabric, kind of fashioned it into a bow, bits and pieces from you know, cutouts and cutoffs from just different things that I was doing. 
nice little coffee tea dye paper that I bought from someone on Instagram that I cannot figure out who it was. Um, nice little, actually not little, big old, a big old paper clip. And I did some cute little bead wrapping, wire wrapping, if you can see that with my horrible lighting. And this was a printout that I got, I think it's one of the freebies from, what is it, Fairy Printables, whatever the website is, little cast off piece of trim, ribbon, little inserts in here, stuff that she can use. There's more on each side. I thought that was cute. Just kind of pop it on there. And then this kind of sticks out the top. So I like that too. More pages from the book. Something from, I don't know, I think this was from a pencil sharpener, actually. <laughs> this just sticker. It's from a pencil sharpener that I got from the dollar spot at Target. And this was like wrapped around it. It's like a little barrel. And it kept like wanting to come off. And I thought it was really cute. So I saved it on something. And then I found it and popped it in here. Nice little Martha Stewart punch on the side of this um, avocado dyed paper. Pretty sure I got this initially from um, Penny and Rose Papery in like one of her bundles that she did, you know, ephemera and paper. Another principle, this I actually got on Etsy. Um, little butterflies sewn on here. More paper, little, little bindi principle. Looks like a little teapot and you open it up, place the journal. I love these. She has a lot of those in just different seasons and different styles. A little bit of a, what you call it, paper journaling card. And that is actually a, a turnip. <laughs> is that not cute? That is cute. My daughter was like, where did you get this from? Put it back, I told her. Vintage playing card that I'm sure I got from, what is it, in the school, in love school, whatever, Instagram shop. I'll link all that below. I did some little collaging here too as well. Again, leftover bits from the napkin that I've used to do the binding. Put all this cute, isn't cuteness back in there little butterfly on this side. This is actually like a nice fine little crepe paper. And I put some tool with it, blinged it up a little bit, and then put it on there for a trim. More paper from the same collection. I can't remember where I got it from. Um, this was actually from one of those Dollar Tree scrap packages that you can get. It has a bunch of scraps in it. Really pretty paper. My daughter said it looked like spinach. <laughs> She's cute. Anywho, um, a nice little envelope here. I did some rub-ons. There's that little bunny again. Put some cute little pieces of paper in here for her to use for whatever. Oh my God, bunny and his little radish cheese. Um, nice little vintage um, fabric sample. This actually was also part of that magazine that I kind of tore these pages out. Really cute. Thought it fit really well. Um, here's another scrapbook page. Rub on. A little trim. Did a little detail on here. That's just a couple of little wrapped. Can't even see it, can you? Wrap beads. Ooh, I did a nice texture on this paper. I have some really big, like, is it A4 size embossing folders that I found at our little scrapbook shop here in, here in town? And your whole sheet of copy paper fits in it. I need to find more of that size. I saw Paints and Glitter Raquel. I just saw one of her haul videos. And I think she had a website that she bought some on. And it was pretty inexpensive. The ones that I got here, I think the original price was like 40 bucks for one or something. And I ended up getting them for $10 on clearance. So it was just luck that I got that. I had no clue that they made embossing folders that big. <laughs> I'm just a noob. <laughs> I didn't know. Look at his cute little tears. So cute. Did some rub-ons here and there on these coffee dye papers. Little um, scraps from edges that I just didn't like and cut apart and used. I did some stapling because I wanted to have different textures and different ways of adding trim. So this is attached um, with those little tiny attachers, little tiny um, Tim Holtz paper clips, not paper clips, staples. Another beautiful page. Look at this art. 
So this idea, totally from Shabby Dabby Doo She's so fun. All the different things that she uses and textures and just love watching her sometimes. And I think she has a video on how to do this paper clip. I don't know that she's the one that came up with this because I think in the video she was just showing them and saying, oh, I learned this from so-and-so. And I think I went and watched that video, but that was a while ago. So I don't remember where she originally got it from. I'd have to go looking in the depths of the YouTube videos to figure it out. But I basically just did layers of just different textiles and trims, um, ribbons, thick velvet ribbon underneath there. I did a little piece of costume jewelry. This was actually a bracelet that I took apart. And I originally was gonna put a bunny on here, but I just thought this was enough. And you know, when she gets this, she can always add more to it. She can always do more. I mean, she could even put a little dangle on here if she wants and then put something else on here. I'll let her do more. It's her book, right? Here's another little um, bright colored page. This is actually from a notebook I got at Dollar Tree and I just took off the spiral so the paper would still look like this. And then I just um, sewed on a little piece, a little printable from a little Bindi printable set that I got on her Etsy. Another... Um, veggie dyed paper. This one I embossed also. I have two of those giant embossing folders, so this was the other pattern that I have. More trim stapled with the tiny attachers. More from that paper collection that I cannot remember. It's really bothering me. Sorry. This is beautiful paper. I sprayed some of um, some of those sparkly sprays on here. I, I think they're the Tim Holtz ones. I have the Tim Holtz ones, and I also have, I think, the Delusions from Ranger. So it was either one of those. Those are the only two that I were you was using at this time. And then some leftover um, paper that came in something that I purchased online. This is really cute, too. Jeez, it's already tangled. Um, this is a principle from Little Bindi, and so is this. So remember the teapot that I showed you, which is like that one, basically. So this would be your tea bag, right? And there's you a little place to do some hidden journaling. Isn't that cute? And then this is, again, a little cast off piece from the edging that I cut off of that napkin that I've used here and there in the book. Um, there is a cute little paper clip, a little cut off from scrap paper. I put a vintage check in here. And then I also added some little rub-ons for her. Um, these are really cute. I, I have somebody that I purchased vintage paper from also on Instagram, so I'll make sure that I link her as well. There's too many for me to remember, dude. Too many. Look at this page. Look how vivid these colors are. So I followed a tutorial on how to make this. I'll link it below. Uh, of course, I can't remember the name. It had paper in it. That was in her name. Something paper. <laughs> That helps, right? So she had a really cute little Instagram like reel on how to do this. And I have actually figured it out and sewed it. And I just made some wax seals. It's the first time I've used this one. I've had it and just never used it. I attached this with a little um, orquilla. What are those called in English? Anyway, clothespin. And then there's my little ribbon slash wire that I love and use. I have this in all kinds of colors, but I thought that looked so cute and just curled on the tops for like that little antenna. Can you even see that? Am I even in, in frame? Am I in frame? So there you go. That's part of it. Look at those daisies. More coffee tea dye paper, just in a different situation situated it a little differently and, you know, do a little fold out, a little um, rub on there. Here is where I placed that bookmark that I made with that ribbon. Another page, this is scrapbook paper. I added some rub ons and painted the side to give it a little bit of, you know, a little bit of character with that punching that I did from that Martha Stewart punch. Painted the back side of it in this nice metallic color I actually can't tell if this is bronze or gold. It's my little color blindness kicking in. <laughs> anyway, painted it, did a little bit of a rub on on the back. Love the way this came out. I was afraid that this would, and I also did like a sealed this. 
I was afraid it would stick to, you know, pages. So what I did was do a little bit of a paper on here or a little, I don't know, what would you call this? But it has a nice texture just to keep it from sticking to anything else. I did another embossing folder on this page, tiny attacher to put this vintage ribbon on. Bunny, bunny, more tears. You know he's been bad if we've seen him in, t in tears twice in this book. There's his little kitty. This is so pretty. Little vintage bingo um, playing card, coffee tea dye paper with some rub-ons, a little vintage remnant of material um, attached with the tiny attachers, a little die cut, a little card. Um, there's also a little rub-on on the inside. I won't worry about that showing you. There's just the back end of the kitty. I kind of was like torn like where to put extra pages in in between these these pages because it's just so pretty but then you know she can take it apart and move this around so I'm okay with that if she wants to do it differently situate it differently add pages take away pages that's easy for her to do and I really like that idea another little rub on coffee tea dye paper did a little collaging um, with some leftover pieces of this and that I actually got a little punch um, as part of the you know the going out of business sale that I got from Violet's, which is our scrapbook store. So I really, really like that. Added a little bit of color, pieces of um, ribbon and trim, an old uh, price tag from something. Look at how pretty he looks. You know, that color is nice. Okay, and then there's a little trim, some wrapped beads, button, a little bulb pin, garment pin, more beautiful art. Vintage paper, coffee tea dye paper. I joined the edges with just different, different little pieces of paper and used some of my wax, metallic wax, um, just to give it a little more depth, a little, you know, collaging. Made this, little pieces of that leftover paper that I used for the tag. It has that basket weave. Is that Tim Holtz 3D? You already know how much I love those. I make stuff with that all the time. A little piece of material left over from something that I purchased. So I just made it, you know, something for her to like, I don't know, do whatever with. A little baby booklet. Where's he going? I just love this book. Really pretty book. Little pieces of doily. Here's Yuki's paper with her little doilies built into it. Love it. Thank you, Yuki. More trim attached with a tiny attacher with Tim Holtz, the other side of that doily. Um, some nice accounting paper that I folded. So it can, you, you know, she can do whatever. I did a rub on here just to give it a little bit of zhuzh. And there's Mama Bunny. She cute. Look how pretty the pink. So I did some pink gingham paper. You see a little tiny rub on here in the corner. This is actually the bunny bag from Dollar Tree. Did another tag here too. I told you I did a lot of tags. I got carried away. I put this one on Instagram a few times because this was like a whole journey to make this one. It started off as a little metal one and then I'm like, it's not enough. And I did this one and yeah, so this is the final, the final tag. This is how it ended up. This actually I got from a thrift store. It was stuffed and I took the stuffing out because it was, you know, not working for me. So I took the stuffing out so she'll be able to do whatever she wants with that. A nice little vintage material as trim there. A little bit of collaging, free printables from the fairy whatever, blah, blah, blah website. This paper my daughter made. She um, tried doing it and then she did a really good job. And I need more. I like the pink in these pages. It's cute. And then here's the back of the book. I went ahead and made like a little pockets um, and put some extras in here for her. Some principles, longer pieces of, you know, scraps from making the book. Here's this little punches, um, little fence. I did a little die cut. Um, those are stickers, but I did a die cut egg and bunny. There's egg and bunny again. Cutouts, die cuts, um, punches. Here's the back end of that doily. And instead of putting this in the front, I put it in the back. Um, just because of the artwork. 
I had a hard time deciding where to put it. But just, just some cute little inserts in here. This I just cast off pieces from, you know, the other thing that I made with a funky paper clip. And I just um, glued it on there. You've got a vintage flash card and made like a little card out of this. This actually my daughter gave to me. It came out, came with something that she purchased, like a piece of clothing or something. It was actually the tag. Um, I covered up the back so you can, you know, do whatever with that. But I thought that was really cute. So she was pretty proud when she saw it made it in this book. And then there's my little label saying it was me that did this. And then that is it. That is it for this journal. So um, let me know in the comments below what you think about this, what you would think about um, doing as far as like a binding like this in a junk journal. And also let me know what you thought about the closure. So I'm interested to see what you guys think about it. All right. I will talk to you ladies soon. Have a good time. Hope you guys are all blessed and doing well. And I will talk to you soon. All right. Love you. Bye. Besos.